Hey friends. So there's one question people ask very frequently that I'd like to talk about here that I think I have something valuable, some keys to shed light upon. And that is people are often like, Tahir Bai, how many hours do you practice a day? And it's especially common, you know, in India or in just the classical music um, community, you know, people are like, oh, I practice for six hours a day. And somebody's like, like, well, I practice for 10 hours. You only practice for six hours. You know, it's a bit of a competitive thing. But as you may know, there's a lot of friendly competition also involved in the music world, as well as the animosities there. But yeah, I think one thing that's very important to know is that it goes much beyond how many hours one practices, even beyond the quality of, of the practice. There's much more there that makes somebody a successful artist and whatever small amount of success I or my group has in this field of kawali or classical music, it comes from what I'd like to talk about. And um, as far as Riaz, of course, our masters have taught us very well for many, many years. So for me at least, waking up, the first thing I think about, other than um, kissing my daughter, is is sitting down and practicing. And I find a lot of joy in it. And it's a bit of a reflex now since it's been, what, 25 odd years of, of waking up. And the first thing is just to sit with the tampura, or the harmonium, and run the scales, do the alankaras, the mirkan, the karaj, whatever bandesh, whatever rag, just as my masters have, have taught me, it's essential. It's, it's the tools, polishing the tools, and it's gotta be done every day. And for me, maybe it's like two or three hours, and then once a week or every couple of weeks, I'll make sure to have a day where I just practice all day and really go deep into something that's very complex that I've been wanting to learn. And this is, this is important. But like I said, it's a reflex, and it's just one of the essentials that go with any art or artist. One must, yeah, polish those tools like I said. But something else that's extremely important, especially in this day of, of digital learning, you know, when I started, obviously there wasn't, internet wasn't really a thing and having a, access to whatever you wanted online, it just wasn't a thing. So there had to be that whole seeking and finding one's way to, for example, finding the music itself, whether on um, cassettes or meeting the master themselves and having to travel, you know, to the far corners of the East in India and in Pakistan to, to really uncover the, the, the Kawali that I wanted to hear and wanted to connect with, as well as, of course, studying with my guru, Pandit Pashupatinath, and learning the, the classical uh, Tumri and Kayal and all that for so many years. It's that seeking, so that anticipation of finding what one is seeking for, for, you know, helps that psychic energy of making that experience of finding it even much more powerful and moves one even more deeply. And in this age of practice, you know, some some people, whether Westerners or, or Indian or Pakistani people that study, you know, that are very disciplined and have that youthful enthusiasm and vigor, which is so precious. I remember how we had that and still do to an extent, but there's nothing like, you know, when you're 22 and you just want to learn and just want to practice all day and, and um, receive every little tidbit of wisdom so eagerly. Yeah, it's really precious. But yeah, we see that often of like, you know, people will have their online studies, whatever, they're imitating some ustad or doing some kind of exercise in their room and that's really great. And um, yeah, big respect for that to all of you that practice. And um, but one thing that's very important for me, and I think in our experience of the the great masters, whether you you know you read about the ustads like Ustad Bari Ghulam Ali Khan or Pandit Bhimsen Joshi or any of these masters, Kesar Bai Kerakar, their their unique life stories are really inspiring in the way that they had to go beyond what was easily um, available in their time and with whatever social circumstance they found themselves in, they had to really go beyond that to find um, this knowledge. And this quality of, of going beyond and being brave and daring 
that the masters have had to bring them to where they were and are is extremely essential and that's that character behind the music all those trials and tribulations all the um all the laughs and all the sorrows and challenging circumstances we've had along the path of learning kawali with the masters has been like this so i think sitting alone in a room and spending hours and hours of a day fine tuning your tekas or the alankaras is is extremely important we've had to do that and do that and do that for any like like i said any little bit of wisdom or any bit of music be- beautiful sound that comes out of of us so our group fanafiela is uh, rooted in that practice but i think that more profound quality of what the music carries as far as message and meaning andaz and ras the feeling it comes from those long journeys and those experiences with our masters you know living in the home of nusrat fatih ali khan for many many months with rahat or um with akhtar sharif and gujawala or ustad sher ali merali in faisalabad and ustad rizwan wazam you know spending weeks and months and every day in practicing and being around these masters that grew up in it from such a young age and were disciplined by their fathers and their ustads or their gurus and you know hearing the music first hand and being with these people first hand has been um, extremely important and forms you know a lot of whatever kind of power that comes from the music that we create and then secondly beyond the masters and beyond all this travel and, and all this struggle and all this adventure is um w- the power we we bring with us from the shrines from all these dargas like i said earlier just that process of you know taking a trip to somewhere that you love like when we went you know on pilgrimage to like sevan sharif or uh, ut sharif or bhidsha like a lot of these dargas that are very hard to get to especially for for foreigners and to be there and to be able to live there for uh, extended periods of time and be with the malangs and be with the babas and the darvishes and hear the qawali and hear the dhamal and be exposed to that devotional culture and therefore the songs that we sing whether it's you know a dhamal we carry the energy of lal shahbaz kalandar not just because of knowing his story and respecting his teachings and valuing them it's from being at that darga and really inheriting a little tiny seed of that energy from that master So again to all you that practice out there keep practicing please we need the the next generation now that I'm 40 I'm starting to give advice here <laughs> no I'm learning and and still it's still a, a youth in this way we look to our masters with so much reverence a lot and so to all you that have been practicing I'm proud of you and shukriya for that and remember though that we're in an age where you can just turn on your phone in your pocket and look something up that you want to learn but there's a big culture that surrounds that there's a lot of personality a lot of character a lot of um cultural and geographical context behind all these sounds all these songs all these tekas so i really i really recommend taking the opportunity to go out of one's bubble go out of one's comfort zone just like we've had whether it's spending whatever money you have saved or to sacrifice the comforts to really help carry this um whatever music whatever traditional music that you're you're practicing help to carry it by really uh, making that that bond of love and that connection and that devotion to these sacred places and sacred people that have created it and carried it up until our generation or your generation so remember that and yeah sending lots of love to everybody out there in their time of um seclusion i hope practice is going well and um I look forward to um hearing from you all in the comments. Uh Hakfarid Yafarid Khudafis. <laughs>